What's up? Today we've got a very interesting ancient chess puzzle that even modern engines, monstrous computers cannot solve. Let's figure it out together on Grandmaster Igor Smirnov and you can see the position right on the screen. It is black to play and the goal for black would be to achieve a draw somehow because normally we can see that white has here two extra pawns which is normally a winning advantage therefore black is trying to escape. The beauty of the puzzle is that perhaps even an intermediate level chess player will be able to get it right even though even Stockfish has a hard time figuring it out. Now you may try to pause the video and figure it out on your own and then you may let me know in the comments below if you can find the solution and let me show you also something interesting. Right here on the right side you can now see evaluation of Stockfish 12 and even though it's not the strongest engine, it's not the latest version but nevertheless it's definitely very strong. And it does say here that white's winning, it's plus 3, and it just calculates the most obvious line after some trade of rooks, and then they're going back and forth, and so white is winning. Now, I've also tried it on the latest version of uh, Stockfish, and it could find the right solution, even though it's still sad that white is still winning, even though it could find the, f the right first move. So, I mean, Stockfish is really having a hard time figuring it out, and let's now try to solve the puzzle together. White is two pawns up and normally they'll just gradually push them forward and promote. Therefore black needs to do something to change the situation drastically. Also let's not forget that currently the rook is under the attack therefore it needs to move. So the first move is more or less obvious as that's the only force to move therefore we want to calculate it first. Check to the king, the only normal way to cover would be rook to f1. And after the trade of rooks, here's the critical position where black really needs to do something very powerful right now. If not, white will simply win. And the way for black to escape is playing bishop to h3, trying to force this pawn to shift to the h file, and from there, white would be unable to promote it. What's the problem? Well, first of all, white would actually prefer to move the pawn forward, and then white would win the game, keeping the two connected pass pawns, but they can't do that because it's pinned. So either way, this pawn will either be gone or will have to relocate to the h file. And in any case, it's what black is achieving here. Now the problem here is that because this bishop, it's a light square bishop, it cannot control this square of promotion and for that reason the white cannot promote a pawn, cannot kick the black skin away off the corner. Let me show you an example variation. Let's say white is trying to push the pawn forward, the specific moves don't really matter, it's just the idea. And as white achieved that position, the problem of white is that the king just stays here in the corner and there is no way for white to kick the king off this corner. If white tries to push the pawn forward, that's a stalemate. What else can white do? Let's move this back. If they try to get their bishop involved somehow, if it just moves around, it doesn't change anything, black keeps playing their king back and forth, and if white's bishop tries to attack this square g8, then oops, it's all of a sudden a stalemate. The king cannot move and therefore it is a draw. And so white cannot make any progress here and for that reason that is a draw. Now let me know in the comments below if you could solve it on your own or not. And it's interesting because computer I think is also puzzled due to this extra pawn. Perhaps without it it would figure it out that it is a draw but the extra pawn confuses the computer. It feels that white is having a greater material advantage. But in reality this pawn does not change anything because even if white pushes black keeps standing is here so this extra pawn does not do anything. And here is one more example where you have a rare chance to outperform a computer. I saw this puzzle a number of years ago and at that time computers actually struggled to solve the puzzle. Now it is black to play and black should win. Uh, just to clarify this is the eighth rank meaning the white pawns are going down here but they're blockaded so they cannot move. Now the problem here for black is that the king is completely stuck here. And don't ask me how the bishops went there to <laughs> these squares, I have no idea. Either way, the king is stuck here, can't get out, and the queen alone cannot checkmate the white's king, right? Because you need a king and a queen to deliver a checkmate. You cannot checkmate just with a queen alone. And therefore, at first, it seems that even though black has a material advantage due to the extra queen, it seems almost impossible for black to get any progress because white somewhat built a fortress here. But if you can find the winning solution, please write it down in the comments below. Now, I tried this position on a modern engine just before recording this video, and it told me like it's easy peasy and it solved it in seconds. But again, just a couple of years ago, they actually struggled to solve this. They just uh, started to give uh, a random checks showing that black has a winning advantage, but it couldn't find 
find a winning plan actually. So if you can find the winning solution, write it down in the comments below and you can actually outdo at least a, a little bit outdated versions of computers that are still extremely strong. And if you can find it, there is a solution below the video in the description or just you can scroll to the comments. We have a lot of strong players among our subscribers. Definitely somebody will find it. And of course, if you want to know how lots of our students got quite impressive chess progress, several hundred rating points within a few months, then you may attend our free masterclass by clicking the link on the screen. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next videos.